tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial I'm just going to show you how you can restore settings in a filter. Now this doesn't, it's not consistent with all filters. Most filters have the reset feature, not all have a default feature. Now first thing to do, just go if you go up to here say filter and I'm going to choose, well let's see, noise, now, add noise and just you can see the effect there. Now if you say set setting to 56 or 58. Now you can actually just do control Z, of course, control Z, just put it back. But if there's actually more than one setting, so in this case there's obviously Gaussian as well. So I'm just gonna just set that and I'm gonna set that and I'm gonna set that as well. Now at this point, okay, it's only three. You can obviously recall what to do, which ones put them back, but how to actually do all of them, you can hold down the Alt key. Now, on the PC it might be different, I think it's an Option key, but on mine is also on the PC, it's on my keyboard, it's Alt as well. But, uh, so, hold down the Alt, and you'll notice, as soon as you hold the Alt key down, I'm using a Mac, so you've got a reset. So there's a reset option there. So what you do, just click reset, and it puts it back to the last used setting. So you just put it back to 12.5. Now, the fact that was also the default is handy. Now, I'm just holding down the CMD key, command key, would be the control key on the PC, the command key, and some filters, when you do that, will have a little option to go back to default. Now, I'm just going to cancel there. So, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go to filter, and I'm going to go for filter gallery. So, I'm just going to go into filter gallery, and shows you the last filter I used was stylize. Now, once you've done that, say you modify some of these settings in the game, like say you can change one. So if you just change one, you can put it back just by control Z, undo. So if you set a few of them, I'm just gonna make it pretty garish there. Okay, then what you can do to actually reset, you can actually just go to press, hold down the Alt key or Option or whatever, but it's, and, reset and it just puts it back to the last settings so you can just see so if you put it down let's say to two and put it down to two and again reset so it puts it back to that now if you want it once you say you use it and i'm just going to quickly use it i'm just going to go and use that filter so there's the settings and apply it so they now obviously changed it from the factory default click ok I don't want that, but obviously I'm just going to undo that. I'm going to go back into the filter gallery. Now you've obviously got those settings. Say you don't want those settings. You want it back to the factory default. Just hold the command key down or control on the PC. CMD key. And you'll notice it suddenly goes default just there. So just over there, default. And just click it. And you get rid of it. Now with the gallery effects, it actually puts it conveniently back to the default for nothing in fact doesn't default but if you go down to glowing edges you'll see that the default settings have been set back to the default now, I haven't tried it yet maybe it defaults all the others back to anyway so that's that one and I'm just going to say just quickly go to another filter just quickly show and something like distort well let's go for pinch and you can say it's got 50% set in there default and I'm going to set that just to say there, click OK, just apply it, undo, go back to the pinch, distort and pinch. And if I want it back to the default, hold the command and you see default appears. So you just put it back to default, just click and it puts it back to its standard 50%. And that's it. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.